In the mid to late 1800s, the coal mining industry was booming in the northeastern part of Pennsylvania. Coal was needed for industry and to heat the houses in the ever-growing cities across the state. The Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad's Coal Division was experiencing an unprecedented growth of coal volume at its Truesdale Colliery. It was time to build housing for its higher-level employees so they could reside in close proximity to manage the site. A site was chosen just outside of the town of Nanticoke, and construction began on a novel project that would eventually be called the Garden City of the Anthracite Region. Twenty buildings made entirely from poured concrete were laid out in a rectangular fashion surrounding a center region that contained a pool, a fountain, playground, and a baseball field. This way of pouring the concrete on site was a new way of construction that was heralded by the likes of Thomas Edison and other notables. These were duplexes with each side containing four bedrooms, two levels, and a basement to house 40 families. Electric street lights lined the sidewalks of the center square. Shared concrete outhouses were located at intervals at the rear of the structures. Problems soon arose with the concrete construction, however. The residents complained of excess condensation due to the cold walls and living conditions that were difficult in the winter. To top it off, the concrete construction made it near impossible to add a sewer system, which the township mandated years later. As a result, just 13 years later in 1924, the buildings were abandoned. The Glen Alden Coal Company, who had taken ownership from the DL&W, tried to demolish the buildings with 100 sticks of dynamite, but that failed to significantly damage one of the buildings. This is what the concrete city looks like today. It's now owned by the city of Nanticoke and has been used for firefighters and law enforcement for training purposes. There is a push to preserve at least some of the buildings, but as you can see, that gets more difficult with the passage of time. Many of the buildings are in really poor shape today. Let's check this out. And this must have been the kitchen, I think, in here. There was a kitchen. Although I don't see, there was plumbing fixtures for the kitchen. As we know, there wasn't any uh, sewer system here. There's a snake skin in there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This, uh, I guess this was a family room in here. Maybe the family room here where you entered and then a dining room perhaps. And I know there's at least two bedrooms, uh, I think there's three bedrooms upstairs. Let me check out the, the basement here. Look at the window, it's kind of dangerous to go down that way. Is it? Oh yeah, I, don't, I think some of the steps have collapsed. Let me go down and take a look and see here. Well, no, there's steps here, but well, there's there's definitely cement which has fallen into here. Hmm. Yeah, the the height of it's not it's not very tall. So this is like a basement you would use maybe for storage. Just a lot of trash down here. Okay, let's go back up here.
We'll head upstairs here. I guess I'll turn the light back on. Oh yeah. Well, I know there was uh, well, how many bedrooms are up here? There's actually four. Right, a little one here. There's a weird hole in this one. Yeah, be careful. Some of these buildings you don't want to be in. Yeah, well, you got to call it all the way through the top. I wonder if this was like a fireplace, perhaps, mm -hmm. which is gone for whatever reason. Well, I don't know what there. kind of heating they had in here. Why is there a side on, that goes in on this side? A uh, what? There's like a doorway that goes directly into the hall. I don't know. There's the other building right across the way there. And uh, from what I understand, that there's steps that go to nowhere. Did you see those yet? I think. Is it, are they in here? Yeah. That's the ladder steps. Oh, so there's a hole in the ceiling now. Look at that. Wow. You could climb onto the roof if you were daring. What they did with this was, normally this would just be closed off. And they put these steps here because if they had wanted to, they could have expanded and put another le uh, level on top of this. It would have been that easy for them to well, there's just report more there's walls. Like the remains of a ladder, you can see the holes. I don't think that there were ladders. I don't think, I think that was just maybe a rebar perhaps to secure the structure. But somebody took the roof out. It looks like they might have done that purposely to climb onto the roof. I wouldn't be climbing on the roof. Well, let's head down and we'll maybe check out one or two other buildings here. Nineteen eleven, folks, is when these were built, and they were abandoned some eleven years, thirteen years later, as I said in the intro. Now it's easy to see why they had moisture problems. I mean, there's water all over here. You can see the, the big pool of water right over there. There's a high water level table here. Uh, this is almost a swamp. And it's really no surprise that they had issues with moisture in these buildings. Now we got, we can look at the other side here of this duplex and see what this one looks like. Folks, we're only going to look through a few of these buildings. Let me turn this light off here. Uh, because they're basically carbon copies of each other. Again, I do believe this is the kitchen. I did see pictures online of sink. There was a sink. But I don't see them. Um, what's, what's interesting is I don't see any uh, plumbing fixtures here. It must be on the floor. Maybe it's covered with dirt. Is that basement uh, accessible? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. I'll turn my light on here. Yeah, the steps that were once here are no longer here, but you can still carefully slide, walk down into the basement here. Yeah. This is just like the other one. Even these spray cans are old. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to go any further down in there. I'm going to go back up here. did have a, a, a lot of windows here and doorways. It's a doorway here. We can actually maybe hop right out here and go into the other building. These buildings over here seem like they're in pretty decent shape. Walk right over here, say hi to the neighbor.
And then there's a little bit more collapse on this one here, it looks like. As you can see here, I don't know what, uh, that might have been like an archway perhaps. This could have been like a pantry actually. You can see there was a wall here at one time. Uh, but it's, it's been knocked out for whatever reason. You gonna go down in there again? That one looks like it's deeper, doesn't it? I think just cause that third isn't piled on. Oh, there's more rooms in this one. Well, let's take a look here. We'll come right down here right behind you. Well, it feels a lot cooler as you get out here too. Hmm. Don't go in there. Oh yeah. And again, just a bunch of trash. But the ceilings are definitely higher. And this one, I got to actually walk here without. So it might have been the other ones are just maybe sinking in, or maybe the the debris just filled up the basement. But I think this is what their real true height is. You don't go in there. You can see that. See the bowing down. That's not safe. So, as a matter of fact, see all that crumble down there. Let's go back up. I don't want to linger too too much down there. But for too long. See, that's what I mean by some of these, you know, probably are unsafe. Now, folks, these are owned by the city of uh, Nanticoke. Uh, and you can still go in here and explore at your own risk. Uh, however, I don't know if that's going to continue. As these buildings get more dilapidated, they're going to become more dangerous. So I could see them in the future, perhaps prohibiting people from coming into, or at least trying to. Right now, there's, there's no no trespassing signs. It's, it's clear and free to come in. What I would ask is that just leave the paint cans at home. Just come to explore, because as you can see, there's already enough graffiti here. There's not even an inch of uh, concrete in some of these rooms. That's not covered by graffiti. Let's go on up here. Yeah, this one's a little more collapsed. Yeah, now see there's what I think was probably the, the heating system perhaps, or however they use, whatever they used, I would, mess, I would guess coal. They probably had a coal furnace in there because after all, these were built by a coal company. So, no, I see that. That doesn't go from floor to floor. There's a whole, like, there's, a, there's a solid thing right there. But you can see, that's what it looks like. That. Uh, section right there, so it goes right up to the roof. Again, these are for the upper level management uh, of the coal company. And matter of fact, if you, if your language, your native language was not English, uh, chances are you would not be able to live in these places. That's it was one of the criteria, actually. Not chances are, the, the fact is you would not be able to live in one of these places because that was our criteria. So any low level coal worker was not going to be able to, yeah, these go nowhere, see? These steps. No, don't go into the basement in this one. This is the one that was collapsing. Matter of fact, don't even walk. This is the area where it was bowing down, right here, was it? Don't go in there. What do you see? Some kind of beehive. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's lots of that. Just be careful. All right. Let's go walk around a little bit more here. I'd like to walk out into the collapsing down here. This area here was collapsing. It might have been. Oh, oh, look! Oh, God! Here, this, look at that. Yeah, do not come down here. Look, this is the area over the this, the basement that we saw. And you can see the basement is right through the floor. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go down out through the other other side. You see it? 
Okay, let's go out to the other building. It's interesting you had a doorway between the two, two halves of the duplexes. Now they had electric lights in the middle of the square. As I had mentioned earlier in the video, they had walkways, sidewalks, and they had a small pool in the center of the square. So this really was a, what they considered to be the garden city of the anthracite region. This is what they called it. I think they were genuinely trying to make it a, a livable little area. So here's a fixer upper. Yeah, a coat of paint, we're good to go, right? Has that been burned? Looks like it, yeah, that's looks like it's old ashes. Wow. You know what that is, right? You just tell about that on your car. The harmonic Yes, yeah, bing, 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 there you go. Harmonic balancer. Well, there's a lot of soot in here. There's been a lot of fires in here. You know what? I think they burned the tires in here. In here. You can see the, the innards of the tires laying right over here. Be careful. That whole area is, <laughs> can you say, collapsed? Only half of it. Look at this over here. Whoa. All right. This is one of the more unsafe buildings, so I'm not going to, let's not go in there. Hmm. And you're going to go in there anyway. Right, so let's not go in there. There's no reason to. Looks like that piece of rebar, see it right up there to the top? There's the only thing holding that, that slab up there. If that were to give out, anybody standing underneath would be a pancake. Yeah, I think the fire did some damage to this one because all the people burning tires, how black it is. That's what weakened the concrete. I think if they hadn't had fires in here, this would have been just as healthy as the other buildings. You can still smell. You smell a little bit? I still smell a little bit of, of a fire. Even though it was probably years ago they did this. And if, if, and if you touch the walls, you get black soot on your hands. This reminds you of any of the, just looking at the stuff, any, any of the apocalyptic movies and TV shows that you've seen, you know? Just waiting for the, the Walking Dead walkers to come, coming out of the buildings.
They couldn't bring these down with 160 of dynamite, but you well, know, the ravages of time, that'll do it. Now this one here looks to be a little bit below grade. You notice that? This one looks like it sunk down a bit. Now whether it was built that way, maybe it was, but I don't know. Definitely below grade here. That's the first step. That's a doozy. Is this one safe? You know, it looks to be okay. I mean, you know, safe is relative when it comes to these things. Some are safer than others. Be careful where you step and step lightly. Now, how about how about going down there? No, no, don't think so. Yeah, well, you do have to watch where your walks are. I almost tripped on that piece of rebar. Let's go over here. Look, here's the, uh, the range of the original step going up, which we haven't really seen on any of uh, the other buildings. Like that step's intact over there. And this one is here. Hmm. Let's go. You know, I think uh, I think somebody was just in here spray painting because it, it smells. It smells like it, so don't touch the walls. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna move on because these are all, like I said, carbon copies of each other. You know, we just walk out here, walk around. I love to see if there's any, re you know, like I said, remains of where the lights used to be, like some kind of foundation where a lamppost was. But uh, I don't know, with all these weeds here, it's probably gonna be difficult to spot that. Remember folks, the, uh, what you saw of the historical pictures I put up at the beginning of the video, this was all open field here. You had a baseball field here, you had a pool, it's a playground, and now look at it. This was all a train track back here behind the buildings. They ran a train track behind every one of these buildings and they actually trucked not trucked but they actually had the, 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 the large machine that poured the concrete they pulled right up to the back of the building poured the concrete slabs then they lifted the concrete slabs up to build these buildings i've seen pictures of it online it was pretty cool it was very very novel the way they actually built these Look at that huge 
Huge swath of poison ivy. Garden of building there. Who's going to go in there? Not me. You're going to have to brush up against that to get in there. Okay, Mr. Engineer, do you think that's structurally sound? <laughs> Somebody's trying to burn spray can. Why would you do that? Spray paint cans here. Won't they explode? I guess that's what they were trying to do. Create a ruckus. Um, why don't you come out of there? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's safe to do in some of these buildings. That may be one. You can see it's cracking there from the stress of it not having a support. And look at this one back here. Let's go around back. Wow. Would have been interesting to see that tumble down. I wonder if it went down quickly. Looks like it did, you know? Just a sudden poof. Wouldn't be as slow. Not the way these little piled around here. Look at the wooden pieces up there. I didn't notice that. See that? They must have had some sort of a drop ceiling or something up there. At least this house did. I suppose you could modify the house just to a little bit, just to a certain extent anyway, the way you want it. All right, folks, that's a wrap from Nanticoke, Pennsylvania, the concrete city, otherwise known as the garden city of the anthracite region. Not much left of it anymore. Folks, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I upload a new video. Folks, we're gonna see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye. There's like 45 frogs in this one pond here. It seems like everybody jumped in at once. There's one looking right at you. Something's in the ground. Hello, Mr. Froggy. Yep, you hear him chirp. <laughs> That's frog for, oh, humans.